Hey friends, it's Reverend Ben, and this is your weekly video. Lucinda and I just came back from New England last night, so I hope you'll forgive the informality of my dress. Um, but I did want to get out a, at least a brief video um, this week. So I'll begin with this really nice um, chalice lighting that uh, Janae just shared for our staff meeting. We light our chalice to signify our commitment to support one another in our personal and spiritual quests for wisdom and understanding. May the flicker of the chalice light, flicker, 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 remind us to offer sensitivity, respect, honesty, generosity, and love to all gathered here and beyond. Uh, please submit announcements for this video by um, Monday night. Uh, I, I do tend to record it Tuesday morning. In this case, it's Tuesday afternoon, but hopefully it'll get out tonight because tomorrow we have this very exciting event. Um, it's entitled Palestine, a conversation about liberation includes us all. It'll begin at 7 p.m. I don't know how well attended it will be. Um, I had planned on doing a lot of work publicizing it, uh, but as you know, uh, life intervened and I've been in New England, but I'm still very excited about it. Um, so please come. Um, I think it'll be a hard conversation, but I think it's a necessary one. And I look forward to uh, welcoming our three guest speakers and whoever else. And one of my goals for the, for the event is to introduce um, new folks to our congregation. So it is being co-sponsored by the Dream Defenders and several other groups. And um, that's one of my favorite things about this process. I'm grateful to uh, Cheyenne, Hala, and uh, Emma Schock for their uh, deep involvement in this. And uh, let's see what happens tomorrow night. <coughs> Excuse me. So then this Sunday, uh, we will have our carols service led by our wonderful music director, John Arterton. I'm really looking forward to that. Um, just as a reminder, Christmas Eve service will be at 5 p.m. We will not have a service that Sunday morning. Christmas Eve is on a Sunday, so we're just doing the evening service, not a morning service. There has been a call uh, out for um, a, a Christmas dinner, and I would love to have Christmas dinner with you all at the church. This apparently has happened in the past at UU St. Pete. So does anyone want to organize it? If anyone wants to organize it, then we can do it. Please let me know. Um, as of the new year, especially, we will need more volunteers for religious education, specifically in the nursery. So please let Janae know if you can do that. And then we also will need more greeters, according to Millie Jones, the greeter leader. Let her know if you can do that. My office hours are still on Mondays, Thursdays, and Fridays, and I would love to talk to you during those office hours. Contact me, we'll set up an appointment. Uh, if you have something that you need Cheyenne to do, please submit your requests uh, through me and not through her directly. And to extinguish this chalice, we will remind ourselves that we ignite it inside ourselves. So that's we remain connected and we remind one another that we are not alone. I'll see you soon.